The Lancet, which was has been considered one of the premier medical journals, although, as we said at the top of the hour, and as we've said here before, uh, it has sort of long since been understood, including by many doctors, to not really be all that serious after all. But they uh, confirmed that, if you will, uh, this in this month, December 2022, when they published this study. And I'm just going to read some bits from it, um, but don't, don't put up my screen just yet, actually. Um, I actually feel like I should give a trigger warning before talking about this because uh, if there's there's sex and types of sex and types of sexual intercourse discussed in this article, which I think warrant just we're not going to spend a lot of time here, but uh, in order to understand what this paper has done, what the authors of this paper have done, and what this journal has done by letting them publish it in this form, um, you need to go into some things that some people will consider grotesque. So. Uh, there, there you go. Um, turn off now if you're not interested in uh, learning about some of the differences between how women and trans women actually engage in sexual activity. So uh, here we go. You can put on my screen here, Zach. Uh, this again published this in December 2022 by The Lancet, human monkeypox virus infection in women and non-binary individuals during the 2022 outbreaks, a global case series. Now, you might think if you just look at the headline that it's going to be about women and non-binary individuals. That's the problem. Well, no. Uh, I will say here, as I've said many times, non-binary isn't a thing. That's not a real category. That just stop it already. You're just making that up. Um, the non-binary individuals, the handful, I think it was literally maybe five, um, uh, that they included here were all um, female, actually. Not assigned female at birth, but actually female, observed female. Uh, and um, the problem arises with their category of women, in which about half of the women uh, that are included in the study aren't women. They're trans women who are not women. So we are, they're looking at monkeypox, which <laughs> for those of you who've been living under some rock that wasn't infected by monkeypox, uh, of course, is mostly, uh, mostly been an infection uh, that gay men get from gay sex. That has mostly been the case. And so, okay, well, yeah, we should see what's going on with women for sure. But maybe don't include a whole bunch of men and call them women and thus further confuse the issue. So here are just a few. Um, sorry, it's going gonna, it's gonna to want to pop up. Um, Non-sexual routes of transmission, including household and occupational exposures, were reported only in cis women and non-binary individuals. So that is to say that once again, it's um, the it's all of the men included in the study on women uh, were actually being exposed um, through sexual routes. Wait, 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 wait. This is actually it's not an important piece. I'm not sure why I highlighted that one. Um, in trans women. This is research in context. This is sort of a you know if you don't want to read the whole article piece. In trans women. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, my God. I need to see the... Okay, I'll just read this. In trans women, commercial sex work was reported in 34, that is 55% of 62 individuals, and was the strongest occupational link to infection. 24, that is 34% of cis women and non-binary people, women, had vaginal mucosal involvement, and 59% of 71 had vulvar lesions. One trans woman had vulvar involvement, and no disease of the, vag of the vagina was described, perhaps reflecting sexual activity, as few trans women had undergone gender-affirming surgery. <laughs> I'm going to just keep going a little bit here. Oh, here it is. HIV prevalence was very high in trans women, 50%, but lower in cis women and non-binary people, 8%. Okay, so the men that they included in the study on women were either half or more than half HIV positive and sex workers. Okay, point one. I, and I'm sorry, my screen does not want to behave. Oh my God. Do you want me to keep the screen for a second? Uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's hanging up because I'm connected there. Okay, now you can show it again here. Similarly, Large case series describing the 2022 outbreaks of monkeypox virus have included no or few women, and that continues to this day, and large epidemiological surveillance data sets have not differentiated between cisgender and transgender women. Um, because cisgender isn't a thing that's, you're either male or female, and trans people are real, um, but the sex that they are matters, whereas the gender that they think they are, especially if they've had no surgery, 
in any way uh, does not matter at all with regard to monkeypox. Okay, a few more. <laughs> Would you like to respond? Yeah, I, I would okay. like to respond. Be before I, yeah, okay. okay. You, can, um, you can give me my screen back so I can get to the next one, Zach. Yes? <laughs> is it... <laughs> oh, my God. Is it arrogant of me to oh. think that I'm not dumb? Uh, yeah, No, it's not arrogant okay. of you to think you're not okay. dumb. I don't think I'm dumb. No. I am straining to understand this paper <laughs> because oh God. it goes beyond jargon uh -huh. by pretending that... Men who are trans women mm -hmm. are something other than men biologically. Mm -hmm. It takes and most of them are HIV positive and sex workers. Right, 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 right. Yes. But I'm having trouble even getting there because I'm struggling to keep track of the right. fact that they've got women who are men mm -hmm. who sure. are being lumped with other men because they're men but the paper doesn't say that they're all just men because this isn't they've studied men right mm -hmm. oh this, but they didn't they're not lumping them with men here because there are no men there's no there's no men in this study because they, they are correcting a historical wrong here because monkeypox because it mostly affects men who have sex with other men um have decided to look at women right but except they didn't i mean they did a few and then they found that among the women who were mostly not sex workers and not HIV, HIV positive, that there were some cases of monkeypox. But among the men who think they're women, who were also mostly HIV positive and sex workers, uh, that they were, okay, there's just one more here. And this gets, you know, I didn't need to know this, but Zach, if you want to show my screen here, um, the, the type of sex that trans women versus women and non by women which they're calling Swiss women and non-binary individuals, the type of sex that they have, okay, which includes anal, oral and anal, oral only, vaginal and anal, vaginal and oral, vaginal only, okay? So these three types, and they've got them into various categories. Trans women had no vaginal sex because they're not women and they don't have vaginas. <laughs> they don't say that in the paper, but that's why. But Okay, <laughs> and women cis women and non-binary individuals, but women, no women had only anal sex. Only one of them had only oral and anal sex. They mostly had vaginal sex, and mostly they're not getting monkeypox. Right. So, so you can take that off, and we're done with the grotesqueries here now. But this, I guess what I'm getting at here, mm -hmm. and I mean, I realize this is your point too, but I'm just struggling Please. trying to wrestle it into clarity. Sure. This is a very obvious result. Yes. <laughs> Everything about the result oh, yeah. is perfectly obvious. This is a pattern we've seen before, mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is the pattern that we saw with AIDS, right? We had um, gay men mm -hmm. were getting AIDS. Anal sex was a uh, primary route of infection, at least in the West. And therefore, it wasn't something about, you know, the mindset of gay men. It was about the behavior of gay men, which differed from mm -hmm. men who weren't gay for obvious reasons. Yeah, bathhouses and anal sex turned out not to be good for you. Right, and it turns and out that if, too. if you're a woman, right, and you were engaged in this behavior, then the virus didn't care that you weren't a gay man, right? So the point is, the, the result of the paper is perfectly straightforward. It's not really newsworthy. But the insane way that they have categorized people obscures that result. So sure. you have to you have to do overtime, like your social justice brain has to unpack <laughs> this result so that you can show that you can properly read through the idea of non-binary and uh, and cis women. I mean, the whole idea that you have to read this stupid code in order to get a perfectly obvious result of a pattern we've seen before, right? This paper should be very easy to understand, mm. and yet they have turned it into a um, a monstrosity of needless complexity by pretending right. that all, all sorts of things that have nothing to do with biology are fundamentally biological and medical. Sure. Yeah, no, and let's uh, let's definitely look at uh, monkeypox transmission in women by doing a small study in which half the people aren't women. Right. Uh, you know, like I don't. I, I don't like sort of the rad femme move to blame the patriarchy for a whole lot of shit. Yeah. Like what, what is going on here? But 
really? Like, what about studying women? Because wasn't that the point? Right. But no, no half the people, you, they're not. Just because they said they were an armadillo here, they're not an armadillo and they're not women either. Like, they're not. And these are, these are trans women, but before they've had bottom surgery, is that the idea? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's waning men. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you for not saying hallelujah. <laughs> Appreciate that. I, I mean, some, I know this is wrong, but I'd prefer it to be waxing men. Um, right. And I don't like that <laughs> image either. <laughs> no, that's, uh, yeah. it's hairless at some level. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah.